Welcome to Serenity Productions. Shit. How the hell did they find us? That damn little hammer. Should have killed her when I had the chance. Damn it. What are they gonna think about this? I wasn't supposed to mess up this time. We're supposed to have it handled. Shit, our portals are getting closed off. Damn it. And I can't focus enough to get my own up. Where the fuck did I go wrong? Where the fuck did I let this happen? Last time I trust a fucking human. I should have gone another fay. I miss all this fun. <laughs> Come on, Cass. Don't you even have a little bit of adventurous spirit in you? Medea, where the hell have you been? Oh, having fun, playing games, keeping the boss happy, you know, the important stuff. I could have used a little help. Then you should have called. <laughs> wow, Cassie. <laughs> Things went to... Oh... What do the humans here say? Hell in a handbasket? I do love that saying. <laughs> like you could just give something over to hell in a pretty little basket. I wonder if you would wrap it with a ribbon. Medea, we need to leave now. I don't want to be captured by this pen idiots. Well, I don't know. I might like to meet the people that have been giving us so much trouble. It might be fun. Medea, please. Fine, fine. Portal Express at your service. Ah, home sweet home. Oh, thank the gods. I was getting sick of that place. It feels so good to be back in the ethereal. Well, you shouldn't have let that little hybrid talk you into going into an abandoned medical facility on the mundane. Plus, you seemed all too excited to go at first. She had very good points. I had everything that we needed. And then, we didn't have to gather things from the outside. Plus, no one would have thought to look there for a very long time. There was always an endless supply of humans to test on. We couldn't get that here in the ethereal. Plus, would you really want that type of experimentation in our home? Fair enough. But for a fay of your nature? I would have figured it was something far beneath your class. <laughs> it was. Months of having to endure that place, only to have it all blow up in my face. And also to have to listen to that little hybrid talk about her mentor's plan over and over again. Ugh, I swear I have that speech ingrained in my head. Keep it to yourself, please. I'll probably die of boredom if you start to recite it. Gotta say... You caused quite the show. <laughs> Haven't seen the pen out in force like that in a long time. You sound happy that it all fucked up. Yes, and so spectacularly as well. Well, that's a little harsh, brother. And you're late. I didn't see the need to hurry up and save a failure like our dear little Cassie here. Told you leaving it to her would be a mistake. If you'd let me take care of it instead of convincing our boss to let her have a go, we wouldn't be here right now. I don't know. If you came with me, you might have liked all the chaos that it was ensuing. Growls echoing, guns going off, explosions. A real war scene. You would have felt right at home. 
It would have been soured quickly, knowing that we lost to a bunch of morons because the Fey you convinced us to put in charge doesn't know how to put up good preventative measures. Hollow, I oh, didn't- Oh, do shut up. As amusing as it would be, I'm not the one you're going to have to grovel to. So you might as well save your breath for when the boss wants to deal with you. That should be quite a show. Now, Harlow, there's no reason to be so cruel. Cassie didn't completely fail. Oh, really? What would you call losing the base for making our hybrids and the person that knows how to make them? A success? A minor bump in the road. And a perfect excuse to argue upping the timeline a bit when it comes to the greater scheme of things. Oh, I'm sure the boss will love to hear you spin this one, sister. Weave your little tail for him to feast on and enjoy. I think you're jealous of my talents. We all have our own skill sets. Yours is having a silver tongue. Mine is knowing how to make someone scream. Like with Cassie here. Maybe I should just deal with her so the boss doesn't have to. Plus, it's been a while since I've gotten to stretch my own talents a bit. It wasn't my fault that hybrid turned on us. Then you should have made sure their loyalties were more secure in the cause than that doctor. You had a job, Cassandra, and you failed. You know what happens to failures in our little family. They don't survive for long. No, I don't think that's necessary, Harlow. Put down the claws, and let's talk. Talk about what? How many chances we've given this useless Fay? How many messes we've had to clean up of hers? Please, Medea, let me take care of it, and then we can find someone who's more competent. I am more than competent. Do you really think it's a good idea to talk back right now? I think you're forgetting who you're talking to, little Fay. Harlow, breathe. You're gonna pop a vein. Ugh. Cassie, I think it would be best for you to head to your room right now. The boss will want to have a word with you. It would be in your best interest to get ready for that. Thank you, Medea. I would watch your back, Cassie. Medea will only make excuses for you for so long. And when she gets bored of you... Then I get to have my fun. You're too easy on her. You have been ever since we found her abandoned in the woods. Wings ripped out. I'm sure there are better things you could keep as a pet. I keep her because she has potential. Had potential, and clearly has reached it. She failed, Medea, spectacularly. This might be her best failure to date, actually. Yes, and I won't deny this could have ended very poorly. If anything, though, this works in our favor. How? We lost an entire base. Years of research and resources gone. The foothold we had in the mundane is weakened. The pen lost a good chunk of their termination team. We lost the person that can make hybrids. We have the formula and the knowledge to make more. The pen knows about Cassandra. And that's all they know. They think she was working under some hair brain scheme of making this mundane plane ready to fight against the ethereal based on the mindset of some crazed doctor which couldn't be further from the truth they don't know about us which means we still have the advantage and with all those hybrids on the loose their attention is divided. If anything, Cassandra just helped to make the best distraction ever. 
How do you always do that? It must be exhausting. Do what? Find the silver lining in things. The boss will not be happy about losing that base. And you know how he can get when he's not happy. We can always find another one. A better, more secure one. Preferably one that doesn't look like it's about to fall over or someone breathes on it wrong. And don't worry about him. Leave the boss to me. Ah, uh, yes. The boss's little pet. Ready to calm him and to weave your silver-tongued words in his ear at a moment's notice. How cute. Ugh. Mock it as much as you want, brother dearest. But my standing with him has only made our lives that much better. That much more privileged. Or would you rather be back at the bottom, like where we were when we first crawled out of that hell we were born in? You know I would never go back to that. Endless nothing. Darkness for years and years. Just thinking about that place makes me pissed off. So then stop diminishing how I helped us to climb. I do what I have to, to ensure you're a leader, and not just another grunt. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know what you go through for us. I do not mean to seem like I'm insensitive to that. <sighs> I know. Just you seem to be able to get under my skin any time you phrase it like that. Well, that's my job. To get under your skin and keep you on your toes. Otherwise, you'll grow complacent. How kind of you, brother dearest. Only the best for you, sister. So, how are your little friends doing? Well, they are coming along quite nicely. I hate to admit it, but that hybrid doctor Cassandra had seemed to come up with a few good solutions. Not that she really knew what she was solving. Good. Think you could have them ready soon? Why? It's not their time yet. And I'd rather not get their hopes up only for you to dash them because you decided to jump the gun. Look at you picking up on the human lingo. <laughs> Don't remind me. Too much time over there and I'm picking up bad habits. You have to admit, the food is better. I'll admit nothing. Anyway, it will be time soon. This will force the boss to move quicker and to stop being so careful. So placid. I am sick of waiting. We have waited years for this. The pen being aware of something going on behind the scenes is the perfect opportunity to twist the knife in his side a little. Still no sense of patience. Ugh, why should we have to remain patient? I am so sick of it. Hiding in the shadows, working behind the scenes. I want to be in the light. I want us to roam free without fear of being tossed back into that place. And the faster our plan is enacted, the faster we can stop living like this. I thought you liked our wonderful little fortress here, especially with all the new modifications you made to your room. Decades of being stuck here have changed my thoughts about our home. It's starting to remind me how I felt in Hellion. I want out. Don't you? Of course. But remember, sister, don't push too hard. Even beings like us can experience pain. And the boss might like you now. But those feelings are fickle at best. Are you trying to hint that for the past couple of decades I have been nothing more than a fad for him? I'm trying to tell you to be careful and not think you're some prized irreplaceable gem to him. 
merely bringing you back to reality in case your head had somehow gotten stuck up in the clouds. I will mind myself, Harlow. Now, I have a very aggravated boss to go placate before he decides to kill our wonderful little Cassandra. Your wonderful little Cassandra. I don't want to take any responsibility for that little fuck-up. Sometimes I wonder if you have one compassionate bone in your body. I'm surprised you have so much compassion. Are you sure the mundane isn't affecting you too badly? Ha ha. Aren't you a comedian? I'm being serious, Medea. If this plan finally works, you won't survive if you become like them. Your faith in me is astounding. Ah, so your sarcasm has gotten better over there. Looks like that plane isn't all that bad. <sighs> Don't you have any little friends to check in on? <laughs> Fine, dear sister. You up for our normal card game tonight? Yes. Though, are you sure you want to lose to me again? You cheated. This time I'll make sure you play fairly. <laughs> Like you caught me all those other times I cheated. I don't think so. See you tonight, brother dear. 